Can't believe it. The Submission Master has arrived. I ordered it about a week and a half ago, and now it is on my doorsteps. The box is not that heavy. It feels it's supposed to be about 80 to 85 pounds, but we shall see in a little bit. All right, guys, I'll talk to you when I open it up. Okay, so I just opened the box to the Submission Master, and there aren't that many pieces that I need to put together. I have this top piece that you see here, just the arms and the head, and then I have a string, which I'll use to bind together this uh, bottom part to the, the arms and the head, and an instruction guide that tells you how I need to go about doing that. As you can see here, it's not that much to it. And so what I'm going to do is ask my wife to help me to put it together and then I will show you the results. All right, and also before I put it together, I decided to give a better view of what actually came in the box so you can see it. All right, so here you have the bottom with the legs. They come pretty tight, They're pretty tight here. And you have the head and arms with the bungee cord that allows for the arms to snap back. Now there's some black tape I hope that that's just, you know, what comes with it and that it's not a return or something like that and someone taped it up and they return. I don't know what's going on with that, but hopefully hopefully that's just a safety feature. There's the rope and then here are the instructions of how to put it together. It's pretty simple. You take the head, as you can see here, put it through the holes and then you'll flap it around the back and you'll tie the strings up shouldn't take too long to do that and once I get it all put together then I will show you my submission master so dummy. I have finished assembling the submission master it took me about 20 to 25 minutes my wife is sleeping so my young daughter she helped me out uh, with it and uh, with a little bit of uh, creative movement we were able to put it together now when uh, Bob Doris, when he uh, put it together, he must have uh, hands of steel because I could not cinch that back uh, in the way that he was able to easily do it. Uh, you know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not a weakling. I'm a pretty strong guy, relatively. So, uh, but I was able to get it together, and I will show you what that looks like. Hold on a second. Okay, you can see how it is. You assemble it in the back. You just attach it the head and arms and shoulders to the back side of the dummy. All right, his was much tighter than that, but mine feels secure. And uh, since I didn't tie it, uh, you know, a, a strong, strong knot, I'll be able to adjust it as needed in the future. Of course, I'm going to buy gi and put on the uh, Submission Master dummy so I can use it. Now, as you can see, the legs are pretty firm, and they said that the legs will come like that, and that's what allows it to sit up. But you can also, as you start to play with it and work with it, those legs will stretch out, and you can work your leg locks. You can put it in half guard, do your butterfly guard. You can uh, put it in guard, of course, when you're on it. And as you can see from, it's, uh, it's, it's really firm construction. You know, I did a quick knee on belly when I uh, uh, set it down on the ground and I smiled because I said, okay, I'm gonna be able to get a lot of use out of this. So it is strong, it's heavy, it's about 80, 85 pounds. I will get a lot of use out of it. I will be doing some future videos where I'll be talking about what are some of my goals, the reason I bought it and what I plan to do because I plan to get a lot of mileage out of this uh, Submission Master. Uh, to help me out on the days that I don't go to practice or if I'm really, really sore, etc. And for some reason I can't make it, then uh, this is going to be very useful for me. All right, uh, thanks guys for tuning in. And as always, peace, and I will talk to you later.